All right, everyone, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. And today, we're going to be talking about what not to do when trying to hook a bowling ball. Stay tuned. So Kyle, learning how to hook a bowling ball is very important, especially for that beginner bowler that's looking to, to cross over that 200 line. Uh, so what tips or what insight do you have for us on how to properly do it? Yeah, today we're going to talk about what the release should be doing and how we should rotate our hand. Now, I actually had a lesson with one of my students the other day, and it was actually my first lesson with him. Uh, he's a very beginner bowler, and he's trying to hook the ball, but he didn't quite have the right concept. So what we see a lot with beginner bowlers and people that are trying to hook is how they rotate their hand around it. So we, we need to rotate our hand through mm -hmm. the bowling ball to create revolutions, but a lot of times in beginner bowlers, we really see that hand coming around the side and spinning the ball. What happens when, what happens when people spin the ball like this is it often creates an uncontrollable and unpredictable reaction. And I don't blame people for when they think of getting the ball to spin and go left, I don't blame them for, I think we probably did it when we yeah, were beginners oh yeah. too. You know, you would think, just get your hand around it and try and get that ball spinning. The thing about it is, is these balls that you can buy in your local pro shop, they're meant to hook on their own. The core inside of it, coupled with the cover on the outside of it, uh, is a recipe for the ball to actually hook on its own. You, you don't even have to do anything, really. You could literally just throw it without rotating anything, and there's going to be a gentle hook because that's yeah. what it's meant to do. Yeah, exactly. So we just want to stay away from spinning the ball because in to build on that, these balls, we want to get that ball into a roll. If we're spinning it kind of like a top, yeah. the ball never loses its axis rotation and gets into a roll. Right. So instead of spinning it, you know, on the side of the ball, we want to keep, we want to do what we call staying behind it. We want to keep our hand behind the ball and hit it this way. So it's kind of that, you know, we talked about in other videos, kind of uncoiling that elbow and wrist and hitting it all forward. We don't want to come and let that elbow fly and spin it like this. Yeah, because then you just lose control. Right. The, the ball just kind of does Yeah, the what ball it's... doesn't create the most controllable reaction, which, and you know, when we're trying to create high scores, we need a reaction we can predict. Yeah, absolutely. So get, let's, uh, let's throw a couple yeah. shots here. So what I'm going to do, idea. yeah, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show an example of what it looks like to spin the ball. So this is me kind of getting my elbow to flail um, and my hand coming way on the side of it. So this is very uncomfortable, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's me trying, that's me spinning it. And now, granted, you did achieve the goal of getting the ball to hook. Let's yes. throw that out there. That is a way to do it. It's just not the best way to do it, um, especially if you're that beginner that's looking to you know, increase your scores. Right, yeah, it's just it's not the optimal way. So, yes, the ball did make its motion, but it's not the motion we want to see. Sure. So we're going to throw another shot here. And, and this, this is going to be a more standard up the back. Yeah, so this is going to be a release that I would throw in competition pretty often, um, and it should give us a more controllable reaction. Now, granted, my... It wasn't too fair. My shot making is going to be terrible when I'm trying to spin it, but still the reaction just isn't good. I thought for sure that last one was going to strike. I did too. Oh, you thought it was going to strike? <laughs> I thought it was going to strike and we were going to have to be like, oh. <laughs> All right, so this is me coming more up the back. I noticed on that one, the, the angle of the ball, the trajectory of the ball was like simpler was more in front of you, yeah. less like crazy angle, like getting out of control. It was just nice and easy. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, when you're trying to hook the ball, especially if you're a beginner bowler out there, when trying to rotate your hand through, try to keep that hand more up the back of the ball. Keep that hand from spinning, and we think it's gonna, and I, actually, I guarantee you, it's gonna create a more consistent and predictable reaction for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video, and we want to send you guys a free gift. All you have to do is click the link in the description or the comments for more details on how to get the free gift. And make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, and make sure you follow us on Instagram, Brad and Kyle. Thank you, guys.